Hello students, it's Dr. Sansom here to work out this problem for molar solubility. So we have some information here. We're going to be looking at BAF2, and we know that the KSP is 1.7 times 10 to the minus 6. And we're asked, what is the concentration of F minus? If 35.45 grams of BAF2 is dissolved in 1.56 liters of water. So we're going to do two things. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to write out our KSP equation, the chemical equation. We have BAF2 solid. It's going to make barium ions and two fluoride ions. And the amount that will dissolve is x and 2x. Because of the stoichiometry there, we get two fluoride ions for each barium ion. And if we write out our expression for the KSP, it will be barium times fluoride squared. Again, because of that stoichiometric coefficient, we square it. So if we substitute in, we get x times 2x squared, which is... 4x to the third, and that equals our KSP 1.7 times 10 to the minus 6. When we solve for x, we get 0 0.0075. And that means that our concentration of barium would be 0 0.0075, and our concentration of fluoride would be twice that much, 2x from our table, 0 0.015 molar. So the other thing that we wanna do is check to make sure that we have enough barium fluoride there to make this happen. So we haven't so far used this information about the grams and liters, grams of barium fluoride solid and liters of solution. So now we're gonna just check to make sure that we have enough. So if we start with 35, 0.45 grams of barium fluoride. It has a molar mass of 175.33 grams. So that gives us 0 0.202 moles. And if we have 0 0.202 moles in 1.56 liters, that gives us 0 0.13 molar. So this is what we would get if it all dissolved. And we just have to check to make sure that this number is greater than the number that we calculated, which is our molar solubility here, 0 0.0075. Because we've got enough, more than the amount that would dissolve because of molar solubility, then we know there'll be some solid left in the bottom of our container that won't dissolve. And uh, we do have enough that we've added to make sure that we get all the way to a saturated solution.